for that job again here in 93. Full out, the full extension. That was excellent coverage by Mac Knight. First and goal from the four-yard line. Here's the handoff, one, trying to get to the two. And does just that. Derek Brooks helps out on the tackle. Why is it so tough to score inside the five against Florida State? Two reasons. Their down linemen have such great anticipation of the snap, get off the ball so quickly, they negate the charge of the offensive line, and their linebackers are so quick, it's hard to turn the corner. Second and goal from the two. Full house backfield. Witherspoon, Blunt, and Smith behind sack. Both ends are tight. Blunt runs into his own man, may have gotten to about the one. Again, goes down in the grasp of Alonzo Horner. Senior out of Miami, and Witherspoon is about a yard away. This will bring down third down. The clock moving with 4.18 left. The officials now break things up, and they'll stop the clock. Ken Hatfield dearly wants his Tigers to show signs of a comeback in this one, and the score would do just that. And he'd rather have seven. Third and goal for the one. There was no way Blunt wasn't in the end zone. Watch numbers 36 and 10. They block out Abraham. Derek Brooks. I mean, that is a big time first contact hit. One more time. One more time. Alexander made sure he didn't come off it right there. What great technique. Clemson shutting three. They want six. Fourth and goal. They decided to run away from their big guys, tried to go short side of the field, came up empty. On that fourth down play, he actually knocked his own teammate, I think James Roberson, into Rodney Blunt and knocked Blunt off his feet. What a stand, but it's not unusual for Florida State.